Hello and welcome to Beef Gravy Studios. I am your host Beef Gravy and five years ago I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to do something fun with my kids. Since then we have continued to play games and review candy and drinks and I've gotten every member of my family involved in some capacity or another. What I wanted to cover today was when I first started my channel, I found a website called itch.io, or as it's been called, itch.io, and learning the ins and outs of how to download a game took some doing, and finding a how-to video was sometimes elusive. So today, I am going to be taking a break from our weekly gaming content and give a step-by-step -step way on how to download games and get them up and running in your computer so you can do the same thing. So hopefully this helps get you started if you're brand new to itch.io and if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I will gladly answer them. And if I don't have the answer I will just admit it. I don't claim to be an expert, just a guy that stumbled his way to the finish line. So I'm going to walk you through some basic things that I had to discover while learning how to use itch.io. First thing, we have the website. And at first, it might seem like there's a lot going on, but it, once you get the hang of it, it's fairly easy to navigate. You can sort your games by popular, new and popular, the top sellers, top rated, and most recent. New and popular tend to be the ones you're going to see people be playing on YouTube that are new, and you're wondering where they got all those. Most recent is any games within the last... 24 hours, so they may not be as polished, but that doesn't mean you can't find amazing things. Depending on your platform, if you go to Play and Browser, these tend to be games that you can play on the actual page. They may not be able to download. Some of the problems that you might run into is they're not as stable and they may not run as well. You can exit out if you don't need it. There's your Windows. If you have Windows PC, like many people, if you have a Apple, there's for Apple only, Linux, and then your mobiles, Android, and iOS. You can also set up, just like Steam, how you want to search on price. So to show you how I usually do it, I click Windows, and then I go to Free, because I am not made of money, and then I go to the last day. So right there, I have the newest ones that have come out. You can see the Windows icon, so I know that it should be compatible with my computer. Any game is going to have what it's compatible to. You see it right there. So here we have a game that is downloadable for free even though it might say name your own price. Every game should have this little tab called more information and it will be right over the download or purchase tab. So if you're looking for something in particular like say surreal, parody, horror, it'll give you the genre, the tags, the author, and the platforms. And that can help when you're trying to figure out what you want to play and what you may want to avoid. And most creators are very good about explaining what's going to be in their game. So now I'm going to go click on download. One of the things you might encounter the creator would appreciate but not require you to send them money if you don't have the money to pay even though it's two dollars. Two dollars adds up really quickly when you're downloading games on itch.io. So you can say no thanks take me to downloads. Take it here and then you click download. You should see it come up in there in your download files and you'll see a little file with a zipper on it which means it has not been unzipped. Now we'll move on to RPG zombie apocalypse. You see in development again zombies survival post-apocalyptic compatible with Windows so I'll go to download it and now you see what looks like a little book set. So after you're done with downloads you can come out here and go to your files and you'll go to downloads in your files. You'll notice there's two different types of files. The first one looks like the books and the second one here looks like the file with the zipper. These both can be unlocked. It's just how to do it is a little different. So the first thing you're going to need to get is you are going to want something that can open up a file. Uh, WinRAR tends to be very popular. You can download it here for free. I'll leave a link in the description. It is what I have used exclusively. Other people use 7-Zip. So to open the game that looks like it has the little books, you'll left click twice. When RAR pops right up, highlight everything, and then go to Extract 2. 
can say where you want the files to go. I made a file on my desktop called itch.io. So I select my itch.io, go to OK. And you saw that loading screen happen pretty quick. Most files are not that big on itch.io. We can close that out. Here's my itch.io files. There it is. Click on the game that's been opened by WinRAR. We're going to want to look for an icon to launch it, and that is this right here, because that icon is a little different from everything. It does not look like any document or any file. It's just simply its own icon, and that's usually what's used to mark the file. The file with the zipper on it, now this is going to be a little different. It's so simple, though. Left-click once, right-click, and it'll say Open With. You see over here, you can go to WinRAR Archiver. Click it just like before, highlight everything, extract to itch.io, and you see it's loaded. Just like before, you can click on it, and there you see that icon that's just a little different from everything. That tends to be the one you want to look for. I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. I just wanted to make a video explaining as simple as possible how to download games on Itch.io. It's a wonderful community to be a part of.